So there's a new bundle that just came out yesterday, but I couldn't record it yesterday for you guys because even though it was on the GameStop website, they didn't send me the code for the digital purchase until this morning. So you can buy it. It's not a physical card. You can buy the digital edition and you have to kind of wait until GameStop decides to send you the code. Hopefully you get it faster than I did, but yeah, I bought it yesterday. Didn't get it till this morning, but I do have the code now. So there is a new Grizzleheim themed bundle and maybe it's winter test themed too. Maybe it's both. I don't know, but I do want to look at that. So it's called the blacksmith forge, I think, or blacksmith fjord, something like that. But it's on the website if you want to go and look up the card yourself. But here are uh, the items that you get in the bundle. So I redeemed it and we have everything. We have the forge master set. So we have the Forge Master Sword, the Master Sword. Okay, Let's see what that looks like. We have like a, I mean, not bad with like the little effects. I kind of like that. And then there's like runes in the middle. And you can see like the, yeah, it looks like it's coming straight out of a forge. So I like that. That's, that's actually not bad. Here are the stats for every level. I'll just go through it quick. If you want to see any particular level, then you can pause it. And here are the final ones. Oh, there's actually a May cast in this wand. Here's the 140. 65 crit, 18 damage. And they also added a May cast, which is surprising. Can I click the... Oh, no, I can't. I can't actually click the control click for more info. It doesn't let you do it on this screen. Okay, well, <laughs> we can't actually see that until I redeem it. But... Yeah, that is 140. Obviously, we're going to redeem it for 140, so let's just do that. 140. Additional castle. We're going to need that. The Fjord Dragon permanent mount, 40%. No idea what this looks like. Haven't seen it. So, oh my. Are you kidding me? Okay, that looks really good. <laughs> I was not expecting that. You know, dragon mounts in this game. Some are good, some are bad. Most of them are... I don't know, like the old dragon mounts? Yeah, those ones weren't the best, but that looked good. So here's the actual blacksmith fjord. I'm excited for this. This is the house. Oh, yeah, this is going to look good. I'm hoping it's good. From the picture, it looks like it's nice. So redeem that. And we also have the pet, the forge goblin. So we'll redeem that. Oh, of course, we have the, the gear, too. We haven't even looked at the gear. Holy. He's got a whole anvil attached to him. This guy must be strong or something. I got <laughs> this forge goblin. Looks like he's made of, of dust and debris. Redeem him. And we also have the gear. So that's what the gear looks like. There's a hammer on the back. And then combine that with the actual sword. And uh, yeah, complete the whole look. I don't know how the dragon fits in with all this, but I'm excited for the dragon more than anything. So here are the stats for... Oh, they give the, the Grizzleheim cards. So here's the stats for each level. You get the Grizzleheim lore spells as an item card. And here's the top levels. 130, 140. So... I'm just going to glance through these quickly, see if there's anything that kind of sticks out to me. 22 damage on the hat with Pierce. And the robe also gives Pierce 17 universal resist. Okay. 1,000 health. Not as much health as some of the other robes that they've been adding to the game. So, yeah, there's those. We are just going to redeem that. And we'll put it on to see what it looks like. So, let me go ahead and take that off. I don't want to equip the mount until we get into the house because I want to save it. I want to save that reveal. But let's look at all this first. So here is Forge Master everything. The sword. Let's also equip the, the pet. This guy. All right. Here is the full set for the gear. I think the sword is really good. I could see a fire wizard or, I mean, any wizard, to be honest, but it fits fire probably the most. I could see them using this. I love the effects. Look at that. They need to make more wands that have, like, cool effects. 
Yeah, I like that a lot. So, cool wand. Gears kind of, you know, the gears kind of just like what I would expect. You know, the gear that they've been putting out, I don't know, it's, it's kind of just like standard, I would say, like kind of basic. But the hammer on the back is a nice little addition. I like the pet a lot. The pet looks, the pet looks awesome. Look at this guy. He's like made of fire and like particles. And he's got this anvil that also has runes on the back. The anvil is high quality. Like, Wiz has been doing good with their textures and, and everything recently. So that is the gear and everything. Let's just go straight to the house. Then we're going to equip them out because that's going to be exciting. Lock the house. Equip it. Okay, I just unequipped it. And we're going to the forge. Okay, we spawn on like a dock. Okay, from the picture, <laughs> from the picture, I expected this to be a little bit bigger, but they got like the little effects that they have. They have that in, this is more like, I mean, I like the, I like the skybox. Yeah, this is definitely like Grizzleheim slash Winter Tusk themed. Let's just go over to the house then. I'm not going to go inside yet. Yeah, the picture made this seem like it was a little bit bigger than this. But it still looks good. Oh, it actually like dumps out the water. Okay, that's a nice touch that it does that. That's cool. With the water mill. You can walk over there. There's fish. There's probably a new fish in here. Unless they haven't added it yet. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they wait to add the new fish into the game uh, until later. Okay, I don't like this. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> this pillar right here, whatever this thing is. Why can't you walk on this side of it? And if it, if they don't let you walk on this side of it, why not move it over? Like, that's kind of annoying. Like, to walk over here, you have to go like this, and you actually have to completely turn. Same with this. Why aren't they... I don't know. That's just, like, my little thing. The fact that you can't walk in between those. That doesn't even make any sense. Why are they like that? They're in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to be that picky. Well, maybe. Maybe I am. Um... So yeah, this is a, I like the scenery. If you can go up there, even if you could glitch up there, maybe I'd have to do that. If you can't actually go up there, then I might have to glitch up there. Not in this video, but maybe later and I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll show you guys eventually. But yeah, I like glitching up to different places that are kind of out of reach. Let's go ahead and equip this mount because I know you guys are waiting for that. I'm waiting for this. The Fjord Dragon. Okay. Maybe, maybe they just decided to put all their effort. Oh, yes. I love barrel roll downs. <laughs> okay, the jump could be better. The jump isn't a barrel roll, but the AFK, the idle animation. Wait, why does he go so low? When he flies, he goes like super low on the ground. This is a cool mount. I actually really like this. A lot of animations going on. A lot of movement. He's got a, he's got a long tongue. <laughs> the wings look like a nice, you know, piece of, <laughs> piece of lettuce. <laughs> nice salad going on. So, it's a cool mount. Like, overall, I don't like the jump. The jump could be a little bit better. You would think the jump would be higher than it is. It's barely even a jump. Oh, here's the battle circle. But like visually, it's still a cool mount. I don't like that you kind of go way down and then when you stop, you go up to like the normal level where the mount's flying. Oh, I knew it. Waterfall secret. Secret rune area. Secret summoning circle to summon something. Maybe maybe if you open the Grizzleheim lore packs here, you'll get the spell that you want. I don't know. What if they actually added that into the game? Was there actually nothing else in here except that? There's no other secret wall. Well, you can go behind the runes. Well, at least that one. Yeah, nothing else. Okay, moving on. Can you go down the waterfall? Nope, but there's fish in it. The, uh, the wings of the mount also are pretty crazy. I usually don't like mounts that have like wings that like flap like crazy. 
So maybe that would get annoying. Can you go over here? Okay, we're on the other side of the house. So you can go inside the mountain a little bit, but there wasn't any other areas to go, I don't think. I mean, one way that I skipped was going back inside. Let's actually go into the house itself. Unless there's a secret back here, too. What if there was, like, a door right there? <laughs> Let's go inside the house. See what this is like. Oh, there's actual, like, windows up there. And light coming through. Okay, that's nice. There's the bank. The bank looks different. I think they're adding, like, unique bank, you know, chests to the new houses. What else is in here? There's got to be some kind of, like, forge, right? It's called the Forge Master Bun. How many walls can you walk through? This is a big wall to be able to walk through. So this is where you go through to get into the cave, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. And there's that. Let's go back in. That doesn't really even need to be a secret wall, but I mean, if they want it to be. Oh, so here's the actual forge and then you can go upstairs over there. Can you do anything in here? Can you like click? Oh, you can. A diamond and two spring? Wait, why was that actually kind of good? That was a lot. I got a lot of stuff from that. If it regularly gives you stuff like that, like diamonds and I don't know, other kind of like turquoise or something like that, that could be a good daily. So you can collect from the forge. Here's where the the water comes in from outside to cool off the weapons. Let's go upstairs. Unless there's another secret. Nope, no secret. Did you just hear that? Oh, that was that's me walking. Listen to this. I thought it was someone knocking on the door. <laughs> yeah, that's the actual sound of uh, the footsteps. Okay, what's upstairs? Anything? I have like a balcony, another place to go down. So kind of just loop around. You can see the, the forge from here. That's nice. The uh, the footsteps are a little weird. Where's that other entrance to go up? Oh, it's just right here. You can go up right here, too. All right, cool. I think that's the whole house. I think that's everything. It's not like a huge house, but it looks nice. I like the details. The forge was interesting. I like the daily. That was actually good. Usually the daily is just like 30 gold and that's it. Or a housing item that you're never going to use. There's a little watchtower over here too. Let's see if you can go up here. You can take your mount up here. I can look out with this massive dragon. I want him to do the barrel roll again. Right, let's go back down. It'd be so cool if you could, like, if Wiz could add, like, a boat or something to one of these houses, you can actually, like, sail around in the boat. Because it just feels like it'd be so cool to go, like, over there. But we can't even go in the water. There's no way into the water, except, like, you could a little bit on the shore. Is that everything in this house? It really makes you want to glitch up to the top of the mountain and see if you can walk up there, because sometimes you can in that ever after village house, you could glitch all the way to the top of those mountains. And there was a pond up there. There was even like a like area to walk on because it's solid you know, ground up there. So I'm guessing it might be the same for this one. But I don't know if I missed anything in the house. If I did, then I feel like I didn't because I did find two secret areas. Don't think there's anything else like over here. But, yeah, overall, I feel like this house is cool. Like, it, it's good, but there's little things about it that I wish were better. 
Like, I wish the house looked a little bit bigger. And, I mean, the dock is nice. I wish there was a boat. Like, it feels like there should be a boat because we're in Grizzleheim, right? And boats are, like, those flying boats are, you know, common around here. So, <laughs> be cool if we got our own. You could, like, go inside that, too. They should have added that right here. And, like, you could go in the boat and have, like, a secondary kind of house there. That would have been a nice addition. But, yeah, overall, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's, like, the best house ever. I wish there was more area to walk on, like, grass areas. Because it's mostly just the dock and then into the mountain so yeah overall pretty good house um i like the mount a lot the mount is good i wouldn't use it all the time i feel like we didn't look at the pet as much as we could have so let's look at the pet again because the pet is definitely one of the highlights for me in this bundle as well give shatter at teen and here's the talent list if you want to just see what he has i mean not like we can tell what the talents actually are but one epic in there and he's death he's death and gives a myth shatter card okay so yeah that is everything in this new bundle it is available on gamestop if you buy it digitally they will send you an email with the code don't know how long that email is going to take to be sent out but for me it took like i don't know it took all night and i got it in the morning so maybe they're sending them out faster now but that is it for the new bundle. I think we looked at everything. So this bundle, it's good, but it's not great. I would say that. Like, I would give it like 7 out of 10 if I had to give it a rating. Let me know what you guys think of this bundle. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. I'll probably be posting another video tomorrow because I want to post my normal Saturday video anyway because I already had a video in mind that I want to make. So look forward to that tomorrow. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you all next time.